right, so in January of 2011, uh, my wife and I decided that it was time to trade our video game system to my sister-in-law and her family in exchange for a chicken coop. And uh, so pretty soon, four little lives uh, entered our home, Plucky, Peeper, Miss America, and Red. Uh, and, uh, you know, we had some discussion about what kind of pets we wanted. Uh, my wife's allergic to most animals that have fur, and um, we're sustainably minded, you know, sort of self-sufficiently minded people, and so chickens just made a lot of sense. Um, they lay eggs for you, they till your soil for your garden, they, uh, they eat bugs and weeds you don't want in your garden, they fertilize your garden, um, and they're way more entertaining than the video game system ever was. Um, so, you know, they, they, a lot of questions come when you have chickens from your friends, from people you meet. Where do you live if you, you can have chickens? Do you live on a farm? Uh, do you live out in the middle of nowhere? You know, we live in a really typical neighborhood in Mesa. Um, you don't need a whole lot of land in order to raise chickens. You do need to check with your city ordinance just to make sure that it's cool. Um, and each city has a little bit of different rules. If you have an HOA, good luck. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we, we have a very small plot of land. You don't need a lot of land for the chickens. Um, you don't also need a rooster. We have four hens. Uh, you don't need a rooster in order to get eggs. Yeah, that's a common misconception. You need a rooster if you want chickens to come out of the eggs at some point. Um, but otherwise, they're just really good, nutritious uh, you know, breakfasts that pop into the coop every morning, magically. Um, the color of the shell of the egg is based on, on the breed. That's another common question. Um, and so we have green shelled eggs and, and brown shelled eggs from our four girls. Um, but the, the color of the yolk and the nutritional value and, and, uh, and, and the flavor of it is really determined by how you feed the chickens, so their, their diet. Um, and uh, one of the other things that's kind of surprising about chickens and, and people find out when they visit and meet ours uh, is that they have their own personalities. And they really have since they were little baby chicks. Miss America that you're looking at here um, is our diva. Uh, she, uh, if you can manage to pick her up, she's very silky to the touch. Again, good luck with that. Um, she's very fussy about what she eats uh, and she preens herself more than all the other girls combined, I think. Um, but, uh, but she's beautiful and they all have their own personalities personalities, plucky, peeper. Um, and uh, one of the, the most surprising thing, absolutely though, to having chickens for me is how deeply I've, I've grown to know these chickens and, uh, and how much they, they are in my heart. Um, I spent hours when there were little chicks in a box in our laundry room before they could go outside, here they are, um, and uh, we just talked, you know, uh, we got to know each other. Um, and I, I talk to them by name, and they think of me as their rooster. Um, and it, that's the odd, and when I go out to visit in the coop right now, uh, I'll go out there, and they, they hunch down like this. Now, that position means something different if I'm an actual rooster. Um, in my case, it means it's easier to bend down and pick them up and, and hold them. So I use that to my advantage. Um, one, day, one day, I dropped one of their eggs. And I want you to understand that chickens go through labor pain almost every day in order for you to have breakfast. And when that sinks in, I went out and I sincerely apologized to Peeper for dropping her egg. I, true story. These, these hens, I call these hens my girls. I, I sincerely love these birds and I never thought I would have this kind of relationship with a bird. Um, when Plucky, uh, the, the barred rock that's black and white feathered there you see, um, got sick last summer, um, I, I didn't know how to help her. I didn't know what was wrong with her. It turns out she was fine. She just had a cold or something. Who knew? Um, but I didn't know what to do for her. So I just sat on my couch and tears flowed down my face. True, again, true story. I, 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 who knew that I could have this kind of an emotional attachment? They are my girls. That's how I refer to them when I talk to people about them. Um, and I know that you're not supposed to have favorite kids, but Red is my favorite. Um, when, when she was in the laundry room growing up, she would always try and find, she still always tries to find the highest place possible, and in that case, it was my shoulder or my head. Um, so that's where she went. When I finally bought my first tuxedo a couple of months ago, the very first thing I wanted to do, you can ask my wife, she's in the audience, is to go out and to get a picture with my, my favorite hen, Red. This is my Facebook profile. It will be my Facebook profile. I don't know when I will, I, who, who could beat it? So I encourage you, get backyard chickens, consider them for pets, they're as easy as dogs, they're as easy as cats, and you get eggs out of the deal, free breakfast in the morning. Thanks. Yeah.